Welcome to the start of a new video. How's everyone doing? It's been a little bit of time. Where have I been, you might ask. Where have I been? Well, fortunately for me, I had a little baby boy, so kind of been busy doing other things. But thought I'd bring my camera along today because I've picked up a disability scooter. Why on earth have I picked up a mobility scooter, you might ask? Well, I've been selling tables. They're doing fine. They're still making good money. You know, double double uh, margin every time, 100%, 200%, something like that. But the reality is that I'm buying them for about 30 pounds, 20 pounds, something like that. And I'm selling them from anywhere from sort of 60 to maybe 90 pounds. So I'm making maybe 30, 40 pounds a sale. Well, I picked up the scooter for 150 and they look to be selling for about 250 to 300. So potentially if it sells quickly, there might be an opportunity to make more profit per sale. So I'm gonna explore it, see how we go. There are potentially gonna be some issues. I have no idea about scooters. I don't know if I've overpaid for that particular model, but we'll learn, we'll find out. Whew, right, so now I've got to get it into the, into the office get it charged because the batteries have got barely any battery on it. Get some photos taken and away we go. Good afternoon, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I've just finished up my day at work. It's just coming up to six o'clock. It's still sunny out, which is nice. Uh, I'm going all in on these mobility scooters. I've still got the one that I picked up the other day. I've got that listed. It's getting a huge number of kind of like shares and likes and you know views. I've not had anyone kind of message me yet saying they want to purchase it, but uh, I think it's a positive sign. It might mean that the price is a little bit too high. I've got it on at 280 currently and I paid 150 for it. So, so maybe I need to bring it down just a touch to try and get that sale, but it's looking good. So I'm gonna go and buy another one. Uh, this one looks to be a similar sort of model. Again, I'm gonna pay 150 for it, or at least I'm hoping to pay 150. That's what I've agreed with the seller. I might try and get it down a little bit if there's like some crazy damage or anything silly like that, but I'm gonna go and pick that one up, get those listed, and then I'll be about 300 pounds invested, give or take. So I'm gonna see how we go for that first 300 pounds. If we make some sales, then I might go full hog for it. But uh, yeah, let's go and pick up this, uh, this scooter. Good evening. Just picked up that second scooter, and I think, from what I can tell, I think I've got a good one. So it's a very nice looking scooter. It's in really good condition. So compared to the purple one that I picked up the other day, that was the first one that I got. This one is kind of a lot nicer looking. It's got a, like a nicer finish. It's also got the sort of, I guess, the slightly nicer chair, give or take, with the armrests. Um, I must admit, I picked this one up probably about an hour ago and I got it home about half an hour ago. And me and my daughter have been having a whale of a time zooming around in it. This one, I was originally paying 150 for it, but upon arriving at the kind of the, the person's flat to pick it up, the guy was like, the key has broken. I apologize, I can't actually see if you can see that, but essentially the key has come out and always got stuck in the in the motor. Or in the sorry, not in the motor, in the the key fob. So you can't actually, well, I mean, you, you can turn the key, but you you know, it, it's stuck in there. It's a little bit difficult. It can, it can be done. Um, trying to do it while I'm on camera. It's not, it's not working very well, but it can be done. So while I was there, I was like, dude, you know, I, you know, it's not as good a product as I was expecting. Um, I'm gonna have to come down on the price. So I actually knocked him down to 130. So I paid 130 pounds for this scooter. And I feel like that's a really good price. Um, as I said, it's in really good condition. It's got this nice chair. It was super easy to get into the car as well. So in case like you guys can't, or you're, you're not sure if it'll fit into the car, the chair comes off, the battery, which is this black section, also comes off. And that is the majority of the weight. So if you try and lift it with that battery on, the thing weighs probably, I don't know, 50, 60 kilos, maybe slightly less, 40 kilos, something like that, but it's pretty heavy. But as soon as you take the battery out, it, it, it's pretty simple to move. The, the handlebars have kind of got an adjuster so you can lay those flat. 
and basically it's you know no bigger than a, a coffee table so yeah really pleased with that pickup paid 130 for it i'm going to get that one listed at 280 as well and i think we made some really good profit there so i'm really pleased so Next couple of days are going to be interesting. I will keep you guys updated if I make any sales. I'm probably not going to invest in any more until I've sold these two, just because, like, you know, for all I know, I'm actually I'm buying duds. But there is definitely a market for it. I did also just run over my foot, so I need to be wary of that. They're not the easiest to kind of like position and, and uh, reverse and everything like that. They, they do reverse, but yeah, they're pretty good fun. They come with a charger as well. So charge them up. What I'm thinking is that if I sell them, I'm gonna make sure that they're fully charged. But yeah, really nice piece. Pay 130 for it, gonna list it for 280. Let's see how we go. Good evening. It's Thursday evening. I've had a productive afternoon. You can see, excuse the hoover, I've been doing some cleaning. I've got no, no scooters in the building. I've had a super, super productive day. I've sold both scooters. I sold the red one for 260 and I bought that one for 130. So made about 130 pounds worth of profit, give or take some fuel. And then I sold the purple one for 250 pounds and I paid exactly 150 for that. So we've walked away with 230 odd pounds worth of profit, which is unbelievable for two sales, basically a week's worth of work, 230 pounds worth of profit phenomenal result and what and, and to me that proves that this concept potentially works so i'm going to jump right back on the horse i'm going out now i'm going to go and pick up a third scooter i'm going to pay 130 for this one it's not it doesn't look to be the best scooter when i've been looking around but the the guy said yes he wanted 200 originally so i've not 70 pounds off so even if i sell it for only say 200 pounds i've still made 70 pounds we do two of these a week. You know, we could be making some serious cash here. We could be looking at, you know, in the region of, uh, you know, 800 pounds, something like that, which would be really, really nice. Obviously, the more scoops that we can do, the better. There is a little bit of a time constraint for me. You know, I'm pretty busy at work at the moment, so it is proving difficult to finish work, then go out and get them, especially now that it's summer. I lose my weekend because I play cricket all weekend, but really pleased with how my evening's gone. Let's go and pick up this scooter. Had a little bit of a mare getting that down the drive. Hey ho, new scooter been picked up. Pretty lightweight option, I'm gonna get it in and I'll give you a little bit of a tour. Right, so I've got it into, I don't know what we call this space, my office. And yeah, it's a pretty light, lightweight, compact one. So I was speaking with a gentleman and this style is used inside the house as well as outside. So a lot of, oh, well, a lot of the questions that I was I was getting when I had the other two listed is kind of what is the range and what is the maximum weight? So something like this probably has a range of about six miles. Whereas the two that I had previously, they had more of a range of about 15, 16 miles. So this is much more for kind of like getting around your home, going to the shop and back, kind of lighter journeys. So I guess that's why I played slightly less for it. Although actually I only paid 130 for the other one, but paid 130 for that one. I think I'm gonna get it listed for 260, look to take around 240, try and make 100 pounds profit again. I think that's gonna be the goal for pretty much all of these scooters. Just for you guys to see again, the, uh, the front comes down, the chair comes off, and then the battery pack comes out. So if you're trying to get these into your car, they're super light, they fit straight into the boot, no hassle. I didn't even break this one down, I literally folded the handlebars down and it just went straight in my boot. Happy as Larry. Looking forward to getting this one listed. Little old me, I have a dilemma. It's Saturday morning and you know what that means. That means it's time for cricket. I got my kit, I'm ready to go. But there's a scooter that I really, really, really wanna pick up on the way. So I'm gonna get my stuff in the car and then I'm gonna go pick up this scooter. I'm paying a little bit more than I'd like, potentially. I'm paying 160, you know, I like to, I, I like to try and pay like 150 or below, but this scooter is kind of like ideally on the way, you know, it's exactly where I kind of need it to be. It's like bang where I'm going. So I think for the little bit of convenience, I'm gonna pay that extra 10 pounds. It's a really nice scooter as well, I hope. 
Gonna get my car loaded up, let's go, let's make the trip. Right, so I'm outside the address to pick up this scooter. It was way, way closer than I was expecting. I don't even know why. I thought it was gonna be sort of half an hour, 40 minutes. It was literally 12 minutes down the road. So I think I'm gonna pick it up, then I'm gonna shoot home and drop it off. That's just gonna be easier because uh, the car's pretty full, but yeah, happy days. Right, so I've just got the scooter back home. And to give you guys just an idea, you know, like the size of these things, this is all the different components. So I've got the main scooter, the battery I've taken off, the seat has come off, and then this bag's got the charger in it. So you can see that they fit pretty nicely. I have got the seat down, but you know, the seat could probably fit on the edge here. Picked up a really nice scooter, paid 160 for it. Now I need to get it back into the office, get it next to the other one. And then I've got to shoot out and head off to cricket, but really pleased with picking that up. It was super close as well. So. Uh, basically no petrol which is ideal um and it looks to be a really nice unit so i'm really pleased right let's get to it good evening just a quick update i'm going to try and wrap this video up i've had a bit of a mixed day today i'm feeling i don't know a little bit mixed so uh i managed to sell the black scooter today so i sold that one for 250 pounds and we paid 130 for that one so i made about 120 pounds worth of profit I also had someone come and look at the red scooter today. A uh, guy turned up, which was great. He took it for a test drive, really liked it, and then went to pay and tried to pay me with PayPal. Was trying to do friends and family, which if any of you guys are in the reselling business, never ever use a friends and family thing because you can send money, it will show in you as the, the seller's account. And then they can do what's called like a reverse transfer and they can transfer it back into their account. So I'm pretty sure the dude was trying to scam me out of my money, which is a bit of a shame because I thought I made a sale and I was, the, you know, I was quids in. But you've always got to be a little bit careful. It doesn't often happen face to face. I've had it maybe once before, but just just be careful. So just a word of warning, but otherwise, you know, pretty much my experience of reselling has been, it's been pretty good in my kind of two, three years I've been doing it. But so just a little bit of an update. I started this video. I had the 150 invested in the first scooter. Then I invested 130. So that's 280. I actually didn't have 280 pounds. So I sort of lent myself 40 pounds in my bank account. So I've deducted that from my figures and I paid that back to myself. But so essentially I had 240 pounds invested up front. Um, I've now finished this video. I've got £435 worth of cash. So in terms of cash, we're looking pretty good. I've then got £160 invested into the, the red scooter currently. So that takes my kind of total um, working capital, I guess, at £695. And then if I can get that scooter sold, which will be roughly £250, £260, which will give me about £100 profit, that'll put me at about £795. So off of a £280 uh, or £240 starting figure, we've almost tripled our kind of investment, you know, with three times the amount. So in the space of a week, we've gone from basically £240 up to a, well, up to £700 basically, £695. So, that's a pretty good win for me. I'm really pleased with how this is going. My first week has been good. Had three sales. We've had one almost sale, but I think I'll get that sold in the near future, which is uh, which will put us in a really good position. I am purchasing another scooter tomorrow, so I'll start a fresh video tomorrow. We'll continue on this journey and I'll catch up with you guys soon. If you haven't done it, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Please also leave a comment down below. Be really interested to find out if you guys are flipping any high ticket, high value items. It's coming up to summer. And if you guys know me, about two years ago, I bought 100 swimming pools from China. So I'm debating whether or not that might be something I might look at again. Ooh, it was a stressful time though, so maybe not 100 this time. But let me know if you guys are flipping anything of high value, high ticket items, and I might try and get involved. But uh, yeah, catch up with you guys soon. Bye-bye.